Buongiorno, uh, this is Barry Koski from Berlin, from the Komische Oper Berlin, and very excited that we are coming to Rome with the Berliner Ensemble in my production of the Thrupini Opera. <laughs> And we're looking forward to it very much. Uh, this production uh, was planned a few years ago, um, and of course, as you probably are aware, um, it comes from the same theater where the premiere of this piece was performed uh, by Bertolt Brecht and Kurt Weil uh, with Lotte Lenya and others, and changed the history of music theater in the 20th century. So to be able to direct a production of the Thrupini Opera in the very theater where Bertolt Brecht and Kurt Weil conceived the piece, rehearsed the piece and performed the piece is uh, and a great honor uh, for me and the actors and this piece needs a long rehearsal period. So, so we have tried to present a very different Thrupini Opera from other productions uh, I have tried to move away from the cliches of the Weimar Republic. There's nothing to do with the Weimar Republic. There's no references to Cabaret or any of George Gauss or Otto Dix paintings. We tried to present in a way a sort of hallucination uh, of a city. Uh, this is a place where individuals crawl and climb uh, through the skeleton of a metropolis. The piece is not just a piece about uh, a society and about money, it is. Uh, it's also a piece about loneliness. Uh, it's also a piece about the desire for love and that love can actually be for sale, or can it? Um, and for us in the 21st century, it's a piece that's been created in Berlin, but it's a vision of Berlin in the 21st century. And the central impulse for the production, of course, is the music of Kurt Weill and the text of Bertolt Brecht, and particularly as an opera director for me, the music of Kurt Weill. Because what Kurt Weill does in a piece is deliberately to contradict what Bertolt Brecht does in the text. And this is where the excitement of the piece lies, that there is no stability in the form or genre in the piece. What is this? Is it as an operetta? Is it, as Kurt Weill said, a farce with music? Is it a cabaret? Is it a, a, a Lehrstück? Is it something that the audience, the Brecht wanted, was to be able to learn something as they saw it? It's everything. It is a, as I described in Berlin, it's a group sex of the genres. Uh, it doesn't interest me what the piece is, it interests me how we can present it to a public in the 21st century. And we forget that a lot of the Brecht text is very funny. The piece is funny. And we also forget the pieces can be very emotional, no matter what Brecht said about emotions in the theatre. If you have music and you have the songs of Kurt Weill, then that is emotional. So we tried to present the piece for audiences now in a way that brings this music and this text alive with thrilling performances. And we are looking so much to come to Rome and present our production of Kurt Weill and Bertolt Brecht's The Thrupping Opera. Ciao.